Good morning, everyone. Pastor Corey Rowan here with the Erickso First Midvale and Newport Global Methodist Church. Bring you a devotional today out of our People of the Bible series with today being one of my favorite uh, Old Testament characters, that of Elijah. Elijah's name means Jehovah is my God. And Elijah is known and best known as one of the prophets who shaped the shaped the thinking of the the northern kingdom. Elijah's fam uh, most famous storyline is that of his defeat of the prophets of Baal on Mount Carmel, one of my favorite Old Testament stories. And uh, Elijah, you can read about this in First Kings eighteen sixteen to forty six. And it says in our devotional thoughts, when British anthropologist John D. Irwin conducted an in-depth study into 80 civilizations, he made some amazing discoveries. Those discoveries included that each of the 4,000 years of history, he found a common thread running through all the civilizations. And that common thread was that each society began with strong moral values and a heavy emphasis over family. However, over the years, the conservative mindset became more liberal and moral values declined. When values declined, families suffered. In all 80 civilizations, the fall of the nation was related to the fall of the family. In most cases, that civilization fell within one generation of the decay of the biblical family unit. Societies never collapse overnight. The only collapse after they their, they only collapse after their foundations are eroded after years and years of bad decision after bad decision. Elijah was the prophet who knew that and saw it happening in Israel. He knew something had to be done, and his preaching emphasized unconditional loyalty to God. That was in direct conflict with the practices of King Ahab, who married Jezebel, daughter of Ethbaal, king of Tyre. Together, Ahab and Jezebel were eroding the virtues held dear by the people of God and were implementing practices contrary to God's law. Elijah defeated the prophets of Baal on Mount Carmel, and he challenged 400 of them to a contest with one challenged winner take all and it says the god who answers by fire he is god out of first kings eighteen twenty four, god used elijah to spotlight all kinds of issues that erode the godly society these same issues are at work today in our society pray that god will again answer us by fire and stop the erosion of these virtues and values he did it before and he can do it again it seems like each and every day, America nails another nail into our coffin. It is safe to say that the conservative values that once governed this nation are being eroded and attacked by liberalism. Yes, liberalism. The One of the greatest oxymorons that I think exists today is the notion of a liberal Christian. There is nothing liberal about Christianity. There is nothing liberal about the Bible. And to claim such an identity is basically to say, I want to call myself a Christian, but I don't believe in anything that would make me a Christian. I want to call myself a Christian, but I want to live a socially acceptable lifestyle instead of a biblically acceptable lifestyle. We need to stop compromising. We need to stop allowing this erosion to affect the church because not only has it affected our country, it has affected the church. It is time for us to stand up like Elijah and call for unconditional surrender, call for an unconditional following of God. If he is Lord, then we must serve him wholeheartedly. If he is not Lord, then like Elijah says, pick something else to serve, pick someone else to serve, but quit wavering between two opinions. Either you serve God or you do not. If you want to serve God in the world, then I promise you, you are only serving the world. This country of ours is in such moral decay, and it's because we as the church have not stood up for the moral conservative values that are talked about in the word of God. And I pray that that changes for us today. Amen.